Hi, this is Katie. Yes, I'm posting on a Sunday. For the rest of the year, I'm gonna be posting on Sundays and doing a little Katie version of Vlogmas. And so basically, I'm gonna vlog a couple minutes every day or every other day for the week, and I'm gonna be posting that like collective vlog on Sundays for the rest of the year. So that's what, like four or five little vlogs. This is like the Katie version of Vlogmas. I know that some people post vlogs every day. That's just not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do every Sunday little vlogs. So if you're excited for some Sunday vlogs, I really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. Okay, so right now, it actually is Sunday right now, November 27th, so I'll be posting this next Sunday. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I literally had no idea what time it was. I think these vlogs are gonna be a little bit more like really what it's like to hang out with me. Just like random thoughts, random things I'm doing throughout the day. So it's two o'clock. What did I do today already? <laughs> I showered. What did I do? I folded laundry. I had a smoothie and I had leftover pizza. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, one thing that I really do need to talk to you guys about and I don't think that I filmed it and I apologize. So just imagine in your head what I'm gonna be telling you. I made a gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, blah, blah, blah pizza the other day. Was it delicious? Meh. Was it fine? Yes, it was definitely fine. And I made it the other day with a gluten-free, egg-free, dairy-free crust, and I ate like half of it the other day. And I had the rest of it to eat today. So obviously eating cold pizza is a thing. If you wanna eat cold pizza, great. I actually had a couple bites of it while it was cold. Some cold pizza is delicious. However, if you wanna heat up old pizza, old pizza, I know you might be like, oh, in the microwave, that's trash, please never do that. That should be illegal. I know a lot of you might think, oh, I'll put it in the oven. You know something that I learned last year? I think I learned it from Brooklyn Blonde on Instagram. I think it was her. She said to heat up old pizza on the stove. Yep. 100%. It is delicious. Just put a little bit of oil down, put the pizza on it and cover it so the bottom will get a little crispy, but the top, since you're covering it, will still kind of melt if you have cheese. Otherwise, it'll just still like heat up whatever the toppings are. I'm not kidding. Heating pizza up on the stove is the best way to heat up old pizza. Just try it. Let me know <laughs> what you guys think. It's the best way to heat up old pizza. Anyway, so I did that, had that for lunch. And then I had to record a video today because it's a sponsored video. And so sponsored videos have to get approved by the brand. So if I am recording a sponsored video, I have to do it a few days earlier and send it to the brand, make sure that they're okay with it, make any little changes that they might want. So I'm able to post it on the day that we agreed on. So today I recorded a sponsored video and I've been editing. That's really what I've been doing the last few hours. I've been working. I think I told you guys that um, I'm gonna be in the Northeast for the winter, right? At least, you know, three, four months or whatever. And I wanted to find a church while I was here and have like a church community. I've been here for like almost a month and I haven't found a church yet. So that is definitely something that this week I like need to put effort into. Honestly, 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 these are even gonna be a little bit more vulnerable vlogs, I feel like. But honestly, like, I think I've gone to church like once this year. I think I'm trying to think if I went before that. I went once in like June. And um, besides that, I have not gone. I've been listening to sermons and watching sermons online, but I've only gone to church in person once this year. And I think, let me know if you guys ever felt this too. Like, I think that, cause I haven't really gone in so long, I feel a little nervous to go, which I know is not what God would say at all. And if it's like a true Bible loving, Jesus loving church, they're gonna welcome you with open arms. But I don't know, I just feel a little nervous about like choosing a new church and making friends and stuff. It's just, I think it's just because I haven't gone in so long. So I'm a little nervous about it. Um, but you guys know that. I do not like to let fear stop me. I do not like to let anything stop me if I know that what it is is actually good for me. And I know that going to church is definitely, definitely what is best for me to be doing. And so one thing that I am gonna do this week is properly choose a church because I did look, I did spend a while looking for churches. And honestly, just in the area that I'm in, I didn't really see any that I thought I would connect with. But so it's like, I have to pick one. I have to um, and go. And so that's something that, I did not go to church today, um, but that's something that I'm gonna be working on. So I'm basically um, gonna get back to work and I'll talk to you guys at some other point. Hey guys, it's the next day or the day after that or something. Um, what day is it? It's Monday, so it's the next day. Um, okay, today was the day of like returning a bunch of stuff that I've purchased over the last couple weeks and I did not wanna return them this past weekend because it was the weekend after Thanksgiving and that's a nightmare in the stores. And so I decided to go on Monday thinking that the stores 
during the day on Monday might be a little less crowded. And they were, the stores were not really crowded at all. The return lines though, <laughs> Everyone had the same idea that I did. So I had to go to the Zara return line. I was there for probably a half hour. And then Amazon was maybe 15 minutes. It was really not that bad, but I got a lot of errands done today basically. And then I also recorded my merch video. You guys, I have merch now. If you did not see that video from a couple days ago or last week or something, I have Jesus Loves You t-shirts now for sale. If you just literally scroll like right underneath this video, you will see the link to purchase. I'll show you the back really quickly. My shirt's tucked in so you can't see the bottom because I have a really short torso. So you can't see the bottom, but you can see most of it at least. I think, maybe. It says Jesus Loves You on the top. There's a rose. And then it says since forever and then on the bottom it says my favorite bible verse which is psalm 56 4 that says what can flesh do to me so if you want to purchase one they're only going to be available through the end of the year um so if you want to purchase one the link is like right underneath this video um anyway okay so this weekend i did a little bit of shopping uh, you know, I, whatever, I just did a little bit of shopping, mostly on Sephora and Ulta to just kind of like replenish a bunch of my makeup and my hair care. Sephora and Ulta had a ton of sales. And so I did purchase a couple things. So this is just the first Sephora box that came in. And do I remember what's in this one? No. So it's going to be a surprise for both of us. Figured I'd do a little haul, tiny little haul. All right. Let's start really quickly with the samples. Um, one of the reasons I love ordering on Sephora.com, A, if you pay like $10 a year, you get free two day shipping for the whole year. So free, I mean, you pay $10, but you get it for the whole year. And also you get free samples like with every order. So I like doing that. Anyway, this is the Skylar Clean Beauty Coconut Cove perfume. I don't wear a lot of perfume. Should I start? Maybe I'll start. Woo, that smells good. It's interesting that they're selling this or um, having it as a sample in November because it's very like suntan lotion-y kind of coconut-y, like a warm coconut. That smells good. Okay, and then the other perfume, I like getting little perfumes because I don't wear perfume a lot and so these little ones will last me forever and just to try them out. This one's called Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues, organic fair trade vanilla essential oil from Madagascar. And the notes are rose, pear, caramel, and vanilla. Wait, where do I spray it now? <laughs> I just covered myself. I smell the coconut. Uh, how about up here? Mm, I don't like that one as much. It's too like warm floral for me. I didn't realize that this had rose in it, but I do smell the caramel and the vanilla. It's not horrible, but it more just smells like you just made cookies or something. I don't know, but I will probably wear this Skylar one Mm, now that it's on longer, I don't know if I like it. Nah, I don't like either of these, I don't think. <laughs> but out of the two, I think I like the Skylar one better. And then also on Sephora, um, they always have like beauty insider little deals, like little extra freebies basically. And another freebie that I chose was the Virtue, that's the brand, um, their healing oil for your hair. So this, especially for hair oil, that's a lot for a freebie. And this was not even with my points or anything. I think this was just one of the extra freebies that they had. So this is a little hair oil and the brand Virtue is really, really pricey. Um, actually, I'm curious how much a full size of this is. I think I told you in the last section of this video, but I'm gonna tell you now, I think these Sunday vlogs are gonna be a lot more chill, relax, like maybe even a little bit less uh, edited and stuff, you know? Yeah, a full size of this, a 1.7 fluid ounce is $44. And this is 0.3 ounces. And the other Sephora order I made, I got another one of these. So again, cause they were free. They weren't even using my points. So I hope I like it. I think I tried Virtue like shampoo and conditioner once in one of those little sample things. And I really liked it, but it's a very expensive brand. So I'm gonna try their hair oil. And then, all right, now the four things that I ordered. Okay, so I got the triple sec three in one finishing spray by Dry Bar. This is like a texturizing kind of spray and this was on sale for like $15 and Dry Bar is also an expensive brand. So $15 for this is not bad for a little texturizing spray. This is the niacinamide 10 plus zinc 1% from The Ordinary. This has drastically diminished my acne. I've been using this for like two and a half years. This has like really, really, really helped my skin a lot. And this is the big size. This is two fluid ounces. I think this is like $11. 
I think the one ounce that you can also buy is like six dollars or something like that so incredible value and an incredible product i put this on after my shower basically like my skincare routine is very minimal nowadays and i use this and a moisturizer basically and an eye cream and that's it so i got a new one of these and then i got to try out this is so cute and so tiny the tarte c power flex concealer i got a little tiny size just to try out i haven't tried out this concealer before i got it in the color fair light sand and for me i usually use concealer kind of all over my face like under my eyes around my nose where it's red and around my mouth where it's red and so i'm gonna try that one out and then the last thing from this order that i'm very excited about is the nude sticks hydra peptide lip butter and it's a little kit and it also comes with a little lipstick so i've talked about this a million times my favorite um like lip moisturizer what are they called chapstick lip balm that word my favorite one is by the brand jouer j-o-u-e-r and it's their lip enhancer it's like 16 dollars, very expensive but i love it and it's gluten free and when i'm putting products near my mouth or on my lips i want to make sure they're gluten free because i have a gluten allergy and so i use that one for a while for years but earlier this year i also had to cut out soy and dairy and a bunch of other things out of my diet and so when i went to repurchase the jouet one i found out that there is uh soybean oil in it and so i just do not feel safe putting that near my lips anymore and so i wanted to look for like a new lip butter or lip balm and i did find you guys eos who makes those little like egg lip balms that you can get from Target and stuff. The egg ones are okay. The ones in the stick are not as good, but they're still okay. And they have a couple of these like liquidy ones, but all of them either had soy or didn't say gluten-free, so I never really tried them. But this comes in a little set of two. I think it's like a Christmas special and it was like $10 and they say gluten-free and I read the ingredients and there were no soy. And I've been using these for the last few weeks and I love them. So I'm probably gonna, next time I go to Target, pick up one more set of these as well. These are the EOS 24 hour moisture lip butter in raspberry cloud and pink champagne. Love these, love these, love these. They are very moisturizing and nourishing. I love them. But I also just wanted to try out the nude sticks one. I'm not going to try it on now because I just put one of those on, but I might try out this lipstick. This is the intense matte lip and cheek pencil. So it can also be a blush in the color bell. I don't know what color that is, but we're going to put it on my mouth. We're going to see. I don't have a mirror over here, so I'm going to use you guys. Let's put this on. I can't tell this lighting's very bad, but <laughs> it came with this as well. And this whole set was on sale for like $13 or something like that when this by itself is usually like 18. So I thought that was a really good deal. So that was on sale. So the only thing that wasn't on sale was the niacinamide, but I was going to get this soon anyway. So I picked that up. But anyway, yeah, little Sephora haul. I think my other Sephora order is getting in tomorrow. So literally the next clip in this vlog might just be another Sephora haul. <laughs> And again, I don't even remember what I ordered from there because I don't remember what I ordered from Ulta or Sephora. I just kind of don't remember. Um, I'm going to go. I, oh, I was like editing my, my merch video and it was making me really anxious. And so I just wanted to like take a little bit of a break from editing and talking to you guys literally always helps. So, all right, done chatting. These vlogs are probably gonna be really long. I really think that they're gonna be like 40 minutes each. Hope that's okay with you guys. All right. I'm done talking. I'm gonna go. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later or tomorrow or something. Hey guys. It is, I don't know, Wednesday, I think. Yeah, at 10.42 a.m. Just got back from the gym. Um, I started going to the gym again like two or three weeks ago or something. Um, and I'm going a few times a week, mostly for now, just doing like the bike the leg press. Um, sometimes I'll go on the treadmill. And today I also did that little like that BOSU like balance ball thing. That's kind of like half of one of those squishy balls with a flat top. Balance on one of those a little bit. Some of you guys might know that I have tendinitis in my hand, so I can't do a lot of the upper body things that involve gripping. And so I still just need to kind of figure out other exercises that I can do, but at least I know with all of my issues, because I had a neck issue, my hand issues, I still wanted to be able to do something and just move my body a little bit. And so the bike, the leg press, treadmill, a couple other things I'm sure that I can do. Um, but yeah, I just started going back. I probably haven't been to the gym in like, <laughs> two or three years or something. So I'm just kind of like easing back into it a little bit, a few times a week. And hopefully I can find other machines that I can use even with my tendonitis and stuff. But um, yeah, so I just made my smoothie that I have almost every single morning. That is frozen bananas, 
uh, coconut milk, unsweetened coconut milk, and a little bit of protein powder. I like this a lot. I've been drinking it almost every single morning, whether I exercise or not. I just know I need more protein in my diet and also just it tastes delicious and whatever. Anyway, so this vlog is very much Katie in her bed, but um, I'm about to get in the shower. I have acupuncture at noon. And I think I mentioned this on Instagram, but I don't know if I mentioned it on here. I hurt my jaw recently. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I literally was not doing anything. I have had TMJ for a while where like my jaw pops out if I open it too wide and sometimes it would get really, really sore. Luckily it never locked or anything, luckily, but it popped out, it got sore. I never really could chew gum or anything like that. And there have been a couple times over the years where it gets like really bad for a couple months. But yeah, just one night, like a few weeks ago, I'm pretty sure it was nighttime because I think like I yawned and sometimes when I yawn, my mouth will pop open a little bit. But again, it used to not really hurt very much even when it popped open. It might be a little uncomfortable, but generally it was totally fine. But this time when I yawned and my jaw popped open, I heard it, this is disgusting. <laughs> This is disgusting. If you guys cannot handle gross jaw things, just skip the next 30 seconds. But basically when I yawned and my jaw popped open, I heard crunching. I heard crunching in my jaw on the left side. And on top of that, it started to hurt so bad. I was like, what is going on? And so like two days later, I went to the dentist because it was not going away. I was terrified to open my mouth any wider than just like a tiny bit. And I went to a dentist who knew about TMJ and she did an x-ray and she did a bunch of stuff. And she said that she wasn't exactly sure what was going on because to know for sure I would need an MRI. But she's like, I don't think we need to do that yet. She's like, there's something potentially wrong with one of your discs. She's like, potentially one of your discs fell out of place. But before I get into an MRI or anything like that, she's like, the things that could help are acupuncture, physical therapy, or chiropractor. And I had a chiropractic accident years ago, and so I don't really want to go to a chiropractor who does all the cracking and stuff, but I guess some chiropractors don't do the cracking, they just do certain stretches. But she told me that she saw this acupuncturist for a little while who helped her specifically with some other issue that she was dealing with a while ago. And so she, she recommended her to me. And so I have been seeing this acupuncturist for the last couple of weeks. I've seen her three times, so they will be the fourth time. And she said that acupuncture could help TNJ, but it's not like a definite, obviously. And she said, but it would take at least like five times to see if it would help. So yeah, I don't know. But today's gonna be four, I'll probably go again once or twice, maybe three more times. And if it doesn't help, I'm gonna stop because it's very expensive and it's out of pocket cash. And uh, it's just, it's a little out of my price range right now. It's been a few weeks since it started. And basically I've just learned if I just don't open my mouth too wide where it starts to like pop open, then I can deal with it. So even when I'm like eating a sandwich or something, I have to like squish it because I can only open my mouth a little bit. But if I only open a little bit, it doesn't really hurt. But you guys know I moved recently and I've stayed in a house for a while, so I did switch my insurance to where I'm staying. So if anything takes insurance, I might go, I don't know. But anyway, I have to go to acupuncture today. Hopefully it'll help. Um, let me know if you guys have some good acupuncture stories or even if you have some bad ones, let me know, but don't scare me, please. Um, no, I went to acupuncture a few years ago, once or twice, weirdly because I worked for an acupuncturist like 10 years ago as her bookkeeper. Why did I get hired as a bookkeeper? I have no idea, but I did. It was like a Saturday job that I had like, in addition to my other job, working for an arborist. You guys, I've had a lot of random jobs, but so when I worked for that acupuncturist, I did get acupuncture once or twice, but not for anything specific. So like, I never really noticed if it helped, but um, this woman that I'm seeing, she's super, super nice. And so I'm just willing to see if it helps, but again, it is super expensive. So I don't want to go for six months if it's not going to help, or if it's just really, really unlikely that it's going to help. And then maybe there'll be something that my insurance covers, or I don't know. So if this doesn't really help, it might be physical therapy time or talk to a chiropractor or something. And then kind of like the last stage would be me getting an MRI to see what else is going on. But for right now, just acupuncture and um, a couple little like at-home remedies that I have not done the last week, like heat and cold and stuff like that. But anyway, I have acupuncture. I'm gonna drink this first. Mm. <laughs> also, I got my other Sephora order yesterday. I wanted to show you what I got. Really quick little haul. This is a tiny haul. There's not a lot of things in here. So I got another of the Vanilla Woods Seven Virtues that I'm pretty sure I said I didn't like this. So I'm just gonna stay over there. Um, I got another little perfume sample, Perfect by Marc Jacobs. This is Perfect Marc Jacobs Intense. I don't 
Love this. I love a lot of Marc Jacobs perfumes. Like Dot is really nice and all like the Daisy and stuff. I do like those. Even though I prefer more fresh perfumes, I do kind of like that Daisy and Dot and all those kind of scents. But this one, uh, it's a little, a little too, as it says, too intense for me, a little bit. It doesn't feel bad. It's just a little, a little much. And then I got another one of these Virtue little hair oils. But then the actual two things that I purchased are the this tiny, tiny little concealer. So in the last little segment where I did a haul, I showed you that I got that Tarte concealer. I got the little mini one just to try it out and because it was on sale and whatever. And I tried it yesterday and I really liked it. I wanted to try another concealer too. And so I got this little Nude Sticks, whatever it's called, concealer. I don't know if it has like a name. Oh, Nude Fix Cream Concealer. Look how tiny and cute this is. Let me take it out of the package. Look how tiny and cute. Look how tiny and cute. I got this in the color Nude 2. This is so cute. Um, apparently the full size is one ounce and this is 0.3 ounces. So it's just like about a third of the size, but it just looks so tiny. But again, this was very inexpensive because of all the sales and stuff. So just to try it out, I hope that this is gonna be good. Again, I did my Ulta orders too. Those aren't coming in until next week. So that will not be in this video because Sephora has two day shipping and Ulta, you'd have to pay, I think, to get faster shipping. But I bought a bunch of Nude Sticks products from Ulta. I got their foundation. I got a bunch of their blushes and lip products and stuff because they were all on like a crazy sale and I had a bunch of points at Ulta too so I got everything like way discounted which I'm excited about because Nude Sticks products are all like gluten-free and I'm pretty sure they're free of parabens and stuff like that and I'm just kind of excited to like have a bunch of their products to try out. And the last thing that I got so again just two little products that I purchased for this little Sephora order. I've had this in my like loved section in Sephora for a while. I've wanted to try this for a while and I don't even think this was on sale, but I think I was just still like, Katie, just get it. You've wanted it for a while. And it was like $19, which for Sephora is not horrible. So this is the LYS Beauty No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. I just wanted to try out a new cream bronzer. And so I got this LYS one. I got it in the color Motivate, which I'm pretty sure is the lightest color. I think it comes in like five. And it just looks like this. I don't want to swatch it right now because I just got back from the gym. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I got these two products. And then again, my Ulta haul, if I do that in another video, is going to be a lot bigger. So let me know in the comments if you like these little hauls kind of mixed in with some vlogs next week and potentially even the week after I could have some Ulta hauls. So just let me know in the comments if you do like these and the next couple weeks I might have more. But yeah, I want to try this for a while. So I'm excited that I finally got that. And then this cute little concealer that maybe I'll try out. I'm probably not wearing makeup today at all, but I'll probably try this out, you know, tomorrow or the next day that I wear makeup. It's 10.55, so I'm going to finish this movie, shower, head out to acupuncture, and then I have a little bit of editing to do today. And by a little bit, I mean probably like four or five hours of editing to do today. So I'll be home around one, edit probably until about six or so, and I have to schedule some videos and stuff like that, and then eat dinner. And then I am going to, Here's the thing, sometimes, and this happened to me earlier in the year too, sometimes I get so, so, so focused on work, which I think is a good thing. However, sometimes I can tell for myself that I am getting, how do I even explain this quickly? That I'm so focused on work that I'm gonna burn out soon. And I've only been able to realize that, like, this is like the second time. And the first time was like in January that I'm like, I'm literally working 16 hours a day and I love working. So it was all really fun. I was excited to do all of it. Like I would wake up really excited to work and like, I wouldn't want to go to sleep because I was working. Like I was really excited. This was like back in like January, February. But then literally after doing that for a couple months, I burnt out. And I spent a little while doing like the bare minimum because I burnt out so much. And so I can kind of tell that it's happening again, where like I'm waking up really excited to work. I work all day and I kind of want to work through the night because I have so much stuff that I want to do. And you know, like I launched merch last week. Um, I launched a t-shirt. Do I have it on my bed? Yes. Um, and this is really exciting for me. And this took a long time for me to like develop. It says Jesus loves you on the front. And here's the back. It says, Jesus loves you with a rose and my favorite Bible verse. What can flesh do to me? Psalm 56, four. So I will have this for the rest of the year. It'll be in my description, but also just right underneath the video in a separate section, you'll just see a picture of that if you would like to purchase. But I have that. I just have a couple other things going on that I'm really excited about. But I can just tell that sometimes when I get really excited about working and stuff that I do it to an extent 
that I cannot sustain. Like I've just noticed that. And so basically I need to kind of start to force myself to do other things besides work. Just for me, this is like what I have noticed within myself because I don't wanna to get to a point where I love working so much that I work all day and then a month later I burn out and I barely wanna work anymore. I don't wanna do that. I'd rather have something that's just more sustainable. And so I need to, for myself, I was talking about this with someone recently, not this exact thing, but something similar about how I don't really know how to relax. I know how to do the actions that could lead other people to relaxing, like watching TV or reading or going for a hike or sitting outside or whatever. I know how to do those things and I do do those things but they do not make me have the feeling of calm or relax. So those are two different things, right? And I was talking about that with someone very briefly recently, but one of the things he said was that, he's like, well, that's just like anything, it takes practice. And I'm like, you know what? I never really thought of it that way, that it's something that you have to practice. And so that's just what I'm gonna do. Most days, today was a little bit of a different day because I have acupuncture and I started late this morning, which was interesting, but most days, I really want to tell myself, okay, here's the time that you are going to work. And then here's the time that you're going to stop working and you're going to do something else. And I really do believe in working hard. I really do. I believe in ambition. And I also believe in making sure that I don't get burnt out. So I'm just trying to figure that out for me. So basically tonight, yeah, if I stop working by six-ish, 6.30 and then eat dinner. And then, you know, at seven, I tell myself, okay, Katie, this is now when you read for an hour, you know, or you journal or you clean or you just do something else. I'm saying clean because my bed is covered in stuff. Yeah, but so it's interesting for me because I don't like the whole idea of like, oh, you worked for an hour and a half. Now you deserve a four hour break. I don't want that. I want to be more realistic on myself. And honestly, like some people might even say that I'm too hard on myself, but I don't see it in that way because I see it as I just have a lot of goals and they take a lot of time and I'm okay with that. But I also do understand that if I do not take some sort of rest or focus on anything else besides work that I will burn out. And then that's just not going to be as productive long-term, you know? And so I'd rather work eight or nine hours a day, six days a week and not get burnt out than work 12 hours a day, seven days a week and then get burnt out after a month. You know what I mean? It's just more sustainable if I can figure out something, but it's really hard for me because when I get excited about something, I wanna do it all the time and I'm excited about working. So I wanna do it all the time. And I have a lot of like really fun stuff coming up. So it's just, uh, I don't know, I'm just, telling you guys i've been talking for so long this vlog is going to be eight hours long anyway so i'm gonna finish this i have to finish this usually i finish it quickly but i've been chatting so yeah acupuncture at work and then um i do want to read okay i have two books that i want to start reading not at the same time i need to pick one to start one is this jesus a theology book by leonard sweet and frank viola and then also another one that i'm interested in reading is this one expository apologetics, because I do want to get into just learning more about apologetics. And so it says answering objections with the power of the word. So I want to start reading one of those because the last book that I just read was Turning Pro, which I love this book. It's the second book in the series by Stephen Pressfield. The first book is The War of Art, which is like my favorite book. This is the second one, just finished that one. Really, really good. And so I want to read one of these. Um, I've been reading more lately, which is really good. Anyway, okay, cool. I'm gonna go. I love you guys. And if you're curious about this, it's a one-shouldered sports bra thing. If you were like, Katie, I don't understand what that shape is. That's what it is. All right, I'll talk to you guys potentially a little bit tomorrow. And then I'm gonna have to close this vlog because it's gonna be 45 minutes long, at least. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh look, Katie's recording from bed again. Hello guys. <laughs> it is Friday at almost four. And this is literally just like a bed vlog. That's all this is, um, because this is probably gonna be the last segment that I record for the week. And then I'm gonna get to editing this video. I need to get better at like recording when I'm doing things because it is such like an easy human nature thing in our heads that if you see me, even if it's a 20, 30, 40 minute video, if you see me only in bed for 40 minutes, 
it's so easy for our brains to assume like, oh, Katie only is ever in bed. She does nothing else. When in reality, I'm doing a lot of other things. I just like haven't really thought to pick up my camera. And the only times that I think to pick up my camera are when I'm in bed. It's fascinating. It's like the idea of like, if you see someone once a week and every time you see them, they eat pizza. It's so easy for our brains to be like, oh, this person eats a lot of pizza. When in reality, it might just be a slice a week. It's just very interesting. Anyway. Today, I went to the mall. I went really early. You guys, the trick is to get there right when the mall opens, especially now in this season when everything is really, really packed because I got there at like 10, 10 and the mall opened at like 10 and I got there 10 minutes later and it was fine. Like I parked really easily. The lines weren't very long. And then when I left, it was, you know, I don't know, noonish or something or 11.45 and it was packed. It was completely packed. Like I walked to my car and there were like 80 cars trying to find spots. And so I'm glad that I went early. But anyway, I wanted to look for just a couple more things. Where's the bag? I was gonna show you. This is just a haul, haul from bed. That's all this video is. I wanted to get a coat. Hold on, hold on, let me put you down. Also, yes, I did go to the mall like this. I'm wearing sweatpants and a crop top, even though it's like 45 degrees, I just put a jacket on over it. Hold on one second. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so my wardrobe is pretty good. Like I don't really need anything else, except I wanted one like nice coat because all the coats that I have are like puffer jackets or denim jackets and stuff, which are fine because I'm a pretty casual girl, but I wanted one nicer kind of like pea coat style coat. And obviously like I can wear the puffer coats with like nicer outfits too, but I just wanted one coat that was not a puffer coat and not a denim jacket. And so more of like a pea coat, that wool kind of look, I just wanted one. And so I went to Zara and I found one that I really like. It's like the perfect color. It's like a dark camel or like a light brown like a beautiful color. And most of the coats at Zara are like 100 or $200. But this one, since it's not lined or anything, was only $49.90. And I was like, yeah, that sounds good to me. So I got this in a medium. Um, generally, I'm an extra small or a small, depending what it is. But I wanted this to be a tiny bit bigger. And I tried on the large as well, and that was like too big. So I thought this was like the perfect type of like, like it still fits, but like, a little bit loose and there's pockets but there's no button no closure or anything but i'm totally okay with that like i'm totally for what i want this for this is literally perfect i like that i'm showing you a coat while i'm just sitting down should i stand up okay hold on hold on don't mind my messy room but also you guys know that i'm messy so whatever okay so it's decently long can you even see the bottom maybe it goes like right below my knee but i'm also only five three ish, five, two and a half, five, three and a half, whatever. But yeah, I just thought that's super cute. Obviously I can put a belt over it if I want to, or just kind of leave it open. And even honestly, honestly, even just wearing something like this with sweatpants and a t-shirt just kind of elevates it the tiniest bit. So I was looking for something like this. Really glad that I found this one. Cute, cute. And then I also got more of my, I don't know if I'd call them my favorite leggings, but I might. I might use those words. And I'm talking about lounge leggings. I'm not really talking about workout leggings because these are a little bit like looser, like they're not really compressed or anything like that. And I wanted to get a couple more because I already have a pair and I really like them. And I just wanted to get more like not exercise leggings. And I always struggle with that because I am very particular about how leggings fit. And I found these, love these. These are from Airy. Airy Offline, and these are the Offline Real Me 7 8 legging. And they were on sale for like 30-ish dollars each. And so I got one more pair of the black. These are really, really thin, but they're very, very comfortable. Like, can you work out in these? Yeah, but they're a little bit more likely to like slide down and stuff because they're not compressed at all. They're very, very light support. So I would argue that these are for like light exercise or really just lounging or being out and about just in general, like for regular type of leggings, but they are that exercise uh, material. But anyway, got one more pair of black that I already have. So now I have two pairs of the black. And then I really wanted, I've wanted this for like a month or two. This color is in the color, I don't know. It's like a light brown. I, I think it had some like random name that I don't remember. But anyway, they have like a light brown. Does it match this? Not even remotely. This is a completely different brown. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I got another pair of those. And then the last thing that I really wanted was 
a pair of fleece lined leggings. And so I went to Marshall's. These were $6.99. I hope that they fit because they're packaged. So I didn't get to try them on. These are the Daisy Fuentes fleece lined leggings pack of two. I got them in the size small medium because I went by the back. They have like a height and weight chart on the back. I don't know, $6.99. I hope they fit because I'm in the Northeast for the winter. And so as much as these are like comfy, cozy leggings, they're not gonna keep me warm if I go outside. They're just not, but I hope that these work. We'll see. So I think that's it. This video, <laughs> this is definitely not what all of my Sunday vlogs are gonna be like. This was just very specifically, like I just shopped a lot this week, honestly. And I think I told you this recently that I don't shop as much as I used to anymore. I used to go shopping all the time, but now I just don't enjoy it as much anymore. And so these shopping trips were more like, there's a change of season, there's a bunch of stuff on sale. I wanted to get a few new items. So that's what I did. So I made a couple orders online and I bought a few things in the store. And so I'm pretty good for the winter. I don't really think I need to shop anymore, at least for like my own clothing and makeup and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. So I know, again, even like I said before, you guys might watch this vlog and then be like, oh my gosh, Katie shops so much. When in reality, I don't. <laughs> I just recorded a bunch of like my shopping trips. You know what I mean? But I actually don't really shop as much anymore. But um, yeah, so this is definitely not what all my vlogs are gonna be like. This just happened to be this week of like me shopping a ton. You know, I'm definitely gonna have more like not me in my bed. So me out and about a little bit or even just me downstairs. A lot of them still probably will be in the house because I do spend a lot of my time in the house but I don't spend all of my time in the house. So. You know, when I go certain places, I'll vlog a little bit um, or when I'm making some meals or anything like that, I'll vlog a little bit. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. But I really hope that you're subscribed because now I'm gonna be doing three videos a week. Um, and I hope that you're following me on Instagram too because I post a lot over there. But yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thank you again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.